We just bought a four-wheel drive from a random bloke in the pub is in Tassie. It? Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, it's a big word. We've got no idea if it runs or not. <laughs> We've got no idea what condition it's in. We've been off road for about 10 minutes. The bonnet's up. But this could also be the barn find of the century. This is the greatest day of my life! <laughs> We've got 24 hours to get it running so that we can take it on an adventure we've always talked about. Yeah, will it, will it? <laughs> <laughs> what what, what happened? That is so loud, really loud. A four-wheel drive mission to the southernmost pub <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> oh, I think it made it Australia's most southern pub. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, we are not. Do we make it? Well, you're going to have to keep watching to find out. Well, mate, cheers to a couple of cracking weeks in Tassie. Some tough weeks, Tassie. Tough, tough on us and the vehicles, mate. Real tough. In fact, the vehicles are no longer with us. No, they've had to go back to the mainland because, well, they're not looking so great. No, nah, they're a bit secondhand, just yep. like us, mate. And <laughs> the good news is, though, we've got another week left in Tasmania. Yeah, we so. budgeted for another week, so, yeah. So we're sort of carless at the moment. We are. I was sitting in a pub having a couple of beers, which is not the worst place to be. But we're not carless tomorrow, mate, because I just made a deal with a bloke at the bar and we've got ourselves a new set of wheels. What? No, I thought no. the plan was to hire one. Mate, it's amazing what can happen after a few schooners and a few games of pool. You get but... talking to blokes, I know, anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, look, look, sight unseen, um, did a deal. We've got ourselves a real budget old what rig. Is it? I don't want to give the game away just yet, mate. It's not your typical sort of buy that I would at least consider ever, but desperate times, mate, and okay. it beats walking. Well, just, yeah, it beats the heck out of walking. Just beats walking, actually. Okay, so you've got a car. Yeah. We talked about this before, northernmost pub in Australia, we've done it. Yep. The southernmost pub in Australia. Bottom of Tasmania. Right down the very bottom, mate. Well, we've got to do probably a little bit of work to it to start with, mate. Oh, here we oh, go. Well, I'm not going to say it's uh, <laughs> reliable to begin with. Right. Okay. Um, we'll find out what's wrong with it. It might be fine. It might be absolutely fine. Oh, I don't but like this for the this. price of it, um, I guarantee we need to do a bit of work to it. Okay. It's All gonna right. be a it's gonna be a restorer's dream, mate. Close to you? You're very close, just up in the hills behind here. So Game of pool. I'll give you a little touch up pool again if you like. Right and um, touch up pool. Come on, listen to the bloke, will you? <laughs> I reckon we we'll just make this plan a little bit more solid tonight and yep. figure out where we're actually going to go. Yeah, cool, cool. And uh, yep. we've got a week of adventure in Tasmania. Let's see if this car will start. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. With the four wheel drive not far from the pub and some dodgy directions on a napkin to get us there, we'll go for a small hike in the morning. See if we can find this old girl. Boy, oh boy, is Graham in for a surprise. Oh, mate, <laughs> that is, is... This is it. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that's a big word. You didn't it's tell right? me this. G60, what year, man? Yeah. Yeah. Um, old, real old. Oh. It's, um, yeah, this is all I could get for the budget, mate. Mate. So, so don't, it's not, oh. not exactly impressive, but... Jump in. Well, how do you get into this thing? I don't this know. This is definitely it, eh? It looks like the pictures you sent me. That's, it's, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Shauno is surely having a lend to me saying this is just another rust bucket. This right here is one of my dream four-wheel drives, a 1977 Nissan G60. It's the original Patrol. This little weapon houses a grunty four-litre inline six-cylinder petrol engine pumping out a, well, optimistic 108 kilowatts of power and 319 newton metres of torque. At the time, it was considered a beast off-road. And personally, I still consider it a beast off-road. And the first vehicle to ever cross the Simpson Desert. It was the first ever European crossing of the Simpson Desert that didn't include camels or horses. And not only that, it's the upgraded version with a third windscreen wiper. Pure luxury, folks. Yes, yeah, so You bought I. a patrol. I don't think we're gobsmacked for different reasons, though, mate. Mate. He said the keys would be there they are. Oh, yeah. Yep. Makes sense. It'll yeah. start straight away. We've got to get used to this. There's oh. a bit going on here. Bit of choke. Try that. Oh, hey! Bump. Straight up. Bump the key. <laughs> what a weapon. Oh, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect this that. This thing mate. is gorgeous. Yeah, it's got a clutch. Yep. Got we some, know what all these do. Some sort of brakes. Similar yep. to pump them a bit. 
three. Oh, beast. I'm actually stoked it started. Like that is a cold start. Yep, straight up in Tassie. Got three windscreen wipes. Yeah, of course. Work? Look at that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's perfect. It's actually better than swimming. How that works? Look at that. Clears the entire window. So, do you miss us? Oh, unlike the farm truck. When you turn it off, they sort of go back to the start. Modern technology, mate. That's what you get in a Nissan. That's what you get in a Nissan. Headlights. Just check the headlights work. Yeah, for I'll us. check them. Yep. Perfect. See, that's Nissan quality. I can't believe you bought a Patrol. Sickest thing ever. Look Spotties. Spotties work. <laughs> yes. Spotties work. Look out. They're not um, very bright, but they work. <laughs> it is cold. I want to see if the heater works. How do I do this? On. Yeah, turn it on. Listen to that! <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of the ear! That is, oh, it is a work of art, mate. Well, it's a work of something, mate. I'll tell you what. This is, I can't believe you've got this. I can't believe I couldn't get a bit more budget together and get a Land Cruiser. I guess there's one thing left to do, mate. Put the swags in and take it for a drive. It's the yeah, sickest let's thing ever. Do it. Let's do it. Well, there you have it, folks. Shauno's finally come round. And what a beauty she is. The old G60, where it all began for Nissan. Well, what can I say? When you're on a budget, you take what you can get. Old mate of the pub practically begged me to take it off his hands, and I don't blame him. A miracle it even started at all. She's seen better days, this old girl. It's going to take a lot of work to make this thing go the distance. Excellent. Oh, comfort. Very hard to shut. There you go. Just be careful with it, all right? Oh, before you put your seatbelt on, yeah. you've got to get the handbrake. Handbrake, jeez, a lot of work. <laughs> the handbrake. <laughs> we might want to keep that. We'll put that in the glove box. <laughs> and, just in case it all gets too much. Right up. All right, we're off. Give me your seatbelt. I reckon we let the adventure begin, mate. Well, I'm a little bit nervous. So am I. It's a good start. <laughs> I was in reverse as well. It's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're off, he's off! Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Hold, hold. I am. Yes, it's, yeah, we're doing it. It's going. Second is. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you're in there. There, there it is. Yes. How's the brakes? Brakes. Oh, good brakes. You gotta pump them up. Oh, yeah. oh they're alright uh -huh. if you pump them. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 that gear. Oh, oh no, not back in a second. Doesn't like that gear. Look at that. that one. There you go, you love. <laughs> <laughs> My door's gonna come off. The wheel. Okay. Oh, it's got no power steering. Oh. I'm glad we got that open, don't we? All right. You're on. It's back. You got the heater on? Don't we can. I don't know. It's, no, it's just there's a lot of heat coming down. <laughs> it's gonna put me battle out. This is a lot of fun. I can't believe you bought a patrol. Well, I can't believe it either. Whatever happens, make sure this never gets out. That I well, want. I just, I don't know. Good mates and all, but you suddenly just become a whole lot more manly. I don't know in about my that, eyes. Mate. I don't know about that. What is that? Something wet on me. Oh no. Oh! It really doesn't like going first unless you get bumpy. <laughs> well, it was good while it lasted. <laughs> just thought we parked Yeah, no, it's good. It's romantic. Reliable? It starts it. Yeah, really good. It's going to get better at driving it. Yeah, it'll happen. Good practice. <laughs> Oh, this is a finely tuned instrument. Can you be careful? Oh, <laughs> I love it. Piece of Australian I'm history. Just trying it. There we go. She's going to make it to where we need to go. I reckon we're going to need to get a few bits and pieces for it. Yeah, good idea. Not, not nothing fancy. I mean, it starts yeah. and runs. Well, but I can make a couple of phone calls and get the guys at Drive Tech to send us oh, a bunch of parts. I think, I think some. Um, I just just sort the of brakes out a little bit. How about some new suspension? Your suspension would be a She's treat. She's a bit how you going, yeah. So you can call the guys at Fulcrum. Yep, I'll call Fulcrum, yep. And those tyres, I reckon they're out as old as the vehicle. So I think I they went get, on with the vehicle, yeah. I might get some tyres for it. I reckon that'll do us. Well, it beats walking, I guess. It's a long way to the most southern pub in Australia. She's running now, but why do I have a feeling this could go pear-shaped at any minute? If only I could have afforded a Toyota. Okay, first stop, Hobart where the guys from Drive Tech 4x4 and Fulcrum have sent down some parts for us to give the big rig a bit of a birthday. 
We've rung ahead and organised with the guys from Eurotech Automotive in Hobart to give us a bay and a hoist for the day. We'll give the old girl a quick service and check over before installing a few key mods to give us half a chance of making it to our destination. We uh, got in touch with our mates over at Drive Tech and they've organised us just some bits and pieces that we probably will need. This is going to take about two minutes to install. We're just going to quickly rip around the engine here. New plugs. Yep. It's going to drive so much nicer. Yeah, yeah, new rotor as well. Just so excited. For probably this. little known fact that we use a lot of Drive Tech gear. Um, they make a lot of like bearings, um, yep. oil seals, all that sort of stuff. Yep. And um, they always help us sort of behind the scenes on a lot of these trips. And this one, we need the parts quick and for a G60. And when you've got such an old vehicle, it's hard yeah. to sometimes get parts yeah, yeah. that are on the shelf. And um, Drive Tech will be able to help us out, mate. All right. <laughs> Can you reach in there, because I can't. Might, <laughs> might start with the plugs, what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. First up, the usual things on an engine, like the spark plugs, leads, belts and hoses. Problem is, checking the radiator hose uncovered a much no. bigger problem that could now be a showstopper. <laughs> well, we're off to a good start. The first bolt, we get a spanner off, and she's gone, snapped. Got to love old big. Classic stitch up. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> so the good news is, of the one we snapped, we know how much thread is still left in there. Yeah, that gives us a rough oh, idea. Oh, all of it. <laughs> all, all, of, all thread is left in there. Give it a tap. There we go. There we oh, go. That stuck on the bow. Oh, look at the rust. We'll just be able to untwist that out of there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. That's a, yeah, that's a, <laughs> There's no coolant coming out. That's weird. <laughs> a little bit down. Yeah, so found a couple of things out. <laughs> that number one, um, this thermostat has not been changed since 1972. Is that the year it rolled off the showroom mate. floor? Yep. Number, that's the, in there. the second thing we found out as well is now welded in from rust. <laughs> the third thing is, is there, seems, no be a, there seems to be a lack of coolant. Like a lot of, there doesn't really have much coolant at all. So it's good we actually a had a look in there. Funny you should mention that. I thought she was a bit toasty. Just, yeah, yeah. Have you got the heater on? Don't, but we can. No, 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 that's, that's just there's a lot of heat coming down from here. <laughs> now, cracking the radiator cap and checking the coolant level is something we probably should have done when we first picked up the vehicle. There's, there is no coolant in this thing. How do I get here? <laughs> I, got, I don't know. There's like none in the radiator. None in the None, none. Now, that's not a good sign, especially when we've driven it about 200 kilometers to get here in the first place. We were a long way. Yeah, didn't get on at all. Just air cooled, not water cooled anymore. Well, I don't know how the heck we got it here. Um, no, it should have overheated. Maybe it did. I suppose that's the price you pay when you're buying an old truck, yep. is you never know what you're gonna get. And this one, well, you, you, we didn't pay extra for the coolant. We should, no, have, we we should have ticked that option, mate. Here's another good little tip. Now, if you look down inside here, you'll see how much rust and scale is inside um, the cooling system of this vehicle. If you see it that bad, just leave it, unless you're really willing to yeah, like, put a sock on top of here and try and catch it all. The plan here is to drill out and re-tap the thread. Luckily, we've got a workshop full of tools and all the right gear to get the job done. But more importantly, we've got Chris here, who's really good on the spanners. And look at that, it's as good as new. Now, for something this old girl hasn't seen in a while. Some coolant, tough as nails these old rigs. I'd like to see a tire to drive 50 k's without any coolant, <laughs> no way. Look, look at that. There's a cricket in there. No, these are actually oiled on purpose, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. That's... Where on earth do you get another one then? <laughs> Let's just put that back. We got some oils on the bottom of that. Is that that? That's can't make me like that. Is that blow boy? Yeah, dead cricket. Excuse me, <laughs> He used to be the, the guardian of uh, all the fresh air. Unfortunately, too much oil got in, drowned him. Drowned him. He's no good anymore. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. Little Jiminy. And if you run out of oil, you can just Use like... Use that, siphon it back in. Siphon it back in. That's why she's a bit low, because it's just in the wrong it's chamber at the moment. It's all up the top. Next up, we'll drop out the oil and replace the filters. I dare say that hasn't been changed in a long, long time. With the old girl topped up, it's time to hoist her up and get started on the suspension. 
You can see it's already had a bit of a hard life. There's a few dents. Like we're losing about, I don't know, 20% capacity in the fuel tank because he's obviously had a stump at some stage in life. It's pretty cool. It's pretty, yeah. I'm, I'm so curious that you're stoked that I picked a good car for once. It's the best car you've ever picked. Other than really? 47, this is the best car you've ever picked. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Mate, you know what? I've never even sat in a G60 before this morning. But look at you. How much more manly do you look today? I'm 20% tougher, that's for sure. So, <laughs> well, let's get some It's pretty cool. Righto. Oh, no. this, mate. We're just going to put a bit of this on there. Rusty old truck. We're just going to soak it a bit first. Make it easy on ourselves. The main things that we'll need replacing on an old four wheel drive oh, like yeah. this are usually the shocks and bushes. We got onto our mates at Fulcrum Suspensions and they've sorted us out with new formula shocks all round. Super Pro bushes and shackles because the old ones were literally welded on with rust. Ah, you yeah, struggle a bit to get them off. Let me try that. Oh! Now we're talking. Not compensating for anything here. Here's all the leverage you can get, big fella. That's it, I do. This is gonna make it ride so much better. I can't wait. Oh, look at this one. That's, we're not going to know ourselves in the, in the driver's seat, mate, will we? <laughs> Living in comfort. The process of working on one of these old classics is a delicate one. Whoa. Lucky for us, Rust has lubricated the entire underbody of the vehicle, making the process of removing the old suspension quite easy. Mother of. I, that's, I probably did the majority of the work here. <clears throat> it's funny though when you see the bigger blokes come in and take the glory, really get back for a swing. And I think what it comes down to is, in essence, technique more than grunt. But um, yeah, whatever works. Yeah, that's true. You're not supposed to really lube this one, but when I see it, I'm just going to start putting lube on everything. Working? Oh, mate. That's a good sound, mate. Greasing really up the last of those nipples, and when you get to that stage, <laughs> you know things are going well. <laughs> <You're pretty downplaced. laughs> all right, you know, all the suspensions upgraded. Yeah. We've got all shackles, bushes, all done. and while we've been fitting that suspension up, the boys have been into the brakes as well. They don't trust us on the brakes. No, which, no, fair no, fair no, enough, no, to be honest with you. I'm just worried. I'm just worried. We've made such a mess in here. They're gonna let us back. We've not it's break anything. Such a clean workshop down here. All the tools were spotless, and now. <laughs> we have made a real big mess. Right Turns out there's about 30, 40 years worth of dirt and mud. Oh, there goes a bit right there. <laughs> on this eagle, stop touching it. Yeah, I reckon, touch it. I reckon we'll help the boys get the brakes back sorted, yep. put the tyres on, and so close. We, are we are off. So close. We are off. Propping. Yeah. Oh, what a there. mess. Let's give the workshop a bit of a tidy up. On the upside, looks like we may have shaved a bit of excess weight off the old girl. Well, now all left to do is to get the tyres back on, bleed the brakes, and we should be good to go. Well, there you have it. We've done what can be done on a budget. A few key mods and a few surprises later, and I reckon she's ready to go. Look at that, mate. You've got a badge on there, too. Ah, uh, take them off. Don't it's you touch. Get off. Get it's off. embarrassing. People get off. start judging me, mate. They, I don't want to. They're going to judge you in, a, in, a, in, a, in the best way you've ever been judged. <laughs> Look at that. Mate, you don't deserve this. You do not deserve this. What do you reckon we go and get some mud on it? No, oh, no, don't, hit, don't hit too hard. It's you can hit it hard if you want, mate. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Absolute legend. Legend, man. Hopefully, well, hopefully we're not back. And <laughs> I just want to say as well, hopefully you guys actually learn a little bit off me and Graham mm -hmm. in the workshop. Well, I mean, stuff. you've probably never seen a bike spin spanners like us two before, but <laughs> holy heck, for good reason too. But look, I appreciate that. It's really cool. Oh, you, hopefully we don't see you again for a couple of days because we're about to go bush. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Time. Always, yeah, uh, I'm from. Job waiting here for you when you get back. Yeah. Oh, mate, now <laughs> There's three days to change a set of tyres. That's it. All right, we um, see if Jumping. it starts and let's go. You ready? So you ready for this, mate? So excited. Cheers, right. guys. Thanks, boys. What a bunch of legends. If you're ever down in Hobart, come and All say right. g'day to Josh and the boys down at Eurotech Automotive. They'll sort you out. These guys don't just work on normal passenger cars, they're experts at four wheel drives. They live and breathe the lifestyle just That's like us. Stop it. I can't go and turn Oh, oh you bum up though.
Uh, don't, don't tell the boys I stole it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's all right, we always take our time. <laughs> But we're about to find out. Well, how good is this? We've given the old girl a bit of a birthday, and ain't she looking swell? Ready to tackle whatever Tassie can throw at her. Couple of swags in the back, and we are ready for anything. Let's hit the tracks. Most southern pub in Australia? Put a beer on ice. Here we come. So you've grabbed the keys today, mate? mate. I'm in love with this thing. I know, you love it so much. Yeah, it's I, a just, weapon. I just think it's a it's a vehicle to get from A to B, mate. To buy out all the other letters of the alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute wagon, mate. No, it is, it. it is cool. Well, it's got that old school Cadbury cool chunk on it. Yeah, it's got it. no brakes. Cool. Cool. It doesn't have much. That. You've got to watch the corners. Yeah, Don't go in hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going hot. We're going to go, though. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. As I'm concerned, you're having way too much fun. Get in there, go on, have, have a, a crack, I've got have a go. Like this. All right. Righto, my turn. Let's see what this old jigger can do. Let's hope it's driving a little better than when we picked it up. Oh, that's pretty hectic. I'm gonna have to crawl this. For a track. I reckon we got a chance here. I think we do actually. Do you have a look at it? Um, you gotta oh, pump them. You gotta pump them. No, I'm, going going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a negative thing. <laughs> Parkering gear. A few ruts later to get her warmed up and we're ready to point her at the first challenge. It's a muddy, slippery, rutted out track. Looks like traction could be a bit of an issue here. Let's see if we can muster enough momentum to see us to the top. I'll give it like a little bit of momentum. Yeah. I'll bounce it. And uh, if we can get across that first little bit, that's a bit slippery. I reckon. And the second bit. And the, the, the third bit will be hard yeah, as well. <laughs> I reckon you got half a chance. Ah, let's give it a go. Yep. <laughs> Looks like one hell of a hill for the old girl. The accelerator went the wrong way. <clears throat> Have a real go. Oh, I have to get out of that. I reckon it'll do it. Pretty good though. So close. So close. I was on the limit. <laughs> Going back to the I just used about 40 litres of fuel. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> Most of it is fumes. So you just crawl. I'll just go back and back over. You oh, ready to put her in no. gear? No! You ready to put her in gear? I think it knocked the exhaust off. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a four inch dump pipe. Ingear, 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 ingear. Brakes, got no brakes. I'm out. <laughs> 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 Turns out a little bit of mud doesn't help the brakes out. No. I think the brakes are just about gone in the mud. I think we're gonna, we're gonna die. 
I'm not gonna lie, the brakes in this thing aren't feeling any better. And it's terrifying on a track like this, but it sure does get the blood pumping. <laughs> oh, that's why. That's why, look at the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> it's lost its flange. <laughs> Don't need that bit. No, bone. no, no, no. Poke that back in. Yeah. What do I say, Graham? Toyota's just wouldn't do this. They wouldn't have got this far. <laughs> no way. I just already, like, we've been off road for about 10 minutes. The bonnet's up. Yeah, we've just got to make a quick adjustment, mate. Don't worry about it. I think we just need to adjust those brakes because I've got nothing. Like, no, literally, yeah. if I don't jam it in a gear and... Right, over the cliff. Yeah, we're going. Yep. We're on the hill, so we might adjust that. No, I think should. What is it, 12? Yeah, 12. I'll get some spanners out and... Just um, give them a little tweak. Yeah, to adjust that little rod in the back of the um, master. master cylinder. We're good to go. Hopefully, we'll have some brakes. By removing the master cylinder, we can get the adjusting rod to be able to tighten it up so we get some more brakes. Hopefully, this works. Mm -hmm. Go for it, mate. Ready? Yep. Right, mate. Whoa, go forwards. Is my recommendation? Yeah. Let's go down there, Yes! Yeah, she doesn't like this bit. This is she doesn't just... like this bit. And the exhaust. Since that fell off, it actually goes it's way really It's really loud. It's very loud. It's really loud. We'll have to fix that before we get in the road, but I think we will. For now, I think, what if I tried to straddle the rut and gave it a red up go? I think you'd fall back in it. Uh oh. Are you looking for brakes there, Captain? Yeah, yeah alright, actually. I think that adjustment. Did uh, it? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that very difficult. Give her another go. This might not be our track. This is not the hill for us, mate. All right. There's another track around, though. Let's go that go. way. <laughs> Do that. That won't work. Let's go that way. Well, what can I say? It's definitely not a Toyota. If you threw the old farm truck at this hill, it would absolutely eat it up. With the exhaust pipe having come off, she may sound like a monster, but unfortunately, that's not enough to get us up this hill. It looks like we've bitten off a bit more than we can chew. I guess we're taking a long way around. I'm gonna say, look, we didn't quite make it up the no, hill, no. but the vehicle sounds tougher because of it. It really does. Look Ten that. minutes in. Listen to that. What? <laughs> I can't believe I bought it. Yeah. Like, really. I can't believe you bought it either. Like, obviously, I've quite a budget. Yeah, it was, it was a steal. I got it next to nothing. Yeah. Holy heck, that's noisy. Okay, up ahead, we've got our second challenge, and it's time for Graham to have a crack. Right here, mate, we're going mud bogging. Going mud bogging. You ready for this? Oh no, that looks slippery, mate. I've got no brakes to go down here either. Oh, so hold on. Good luck with this. Hold on, mate, hold on. I reckon I might do the old window up. <laughs> oh, you've got to keep your thumbs out of the wheel. Right. Oh, jeepers. Pretty muddy in there, isn't it? Yeah, which way are you going? In here. Of course, yeah. You might need to give it a gasket out of here. Easy, easy, tiger. Easy. Oh! Come on. You're better than this. You're better than this. No, you're not going to reverse and just hit it. I've hit a tree too. Sorry, <laughs> you know what you're doing, mate? Sorry, mate. I'm a, I'm a passenger. Did you just hit that yeah. Tree? Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of line. Hard on the gear. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, that's that's reverse. <laughs> that's reverse. Okay, here we go. Do my old trick. Is it enough boom to get second? Nah. No. <laughs> it turns out it doesn't. Oh, it's quite the job, isn't it? So close. Do you go back and give it a red hot? Yeah, bouncer. No, back, 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 back. All the way. And like 
to say in the movies, mate. Full send. Full send engaged. Now, that's how you do it. Good work, mate. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, it's hard work. So much fun. I'm putting the window back down. The fumes are getting... <laughs> oh, these things. Oh, I can't believe it runs so well. It does, man. It's, yeah. just, a, it's just a rig. I love it. I it's absolutely just, love it. You know what? It just gets me thinking. You got such an old rig that's just done it all. Yeah. And here we are going, all right, can you do a hard track for us? Okay. He goes, yeah, right, I, I was born to do this. Yep. These cars are just built for this sort of stuff. Made for it. Yeah. They weren't made for much else, to be fair. No, nah, to be honest, you wouldn't uh, take you wouldn't, a precious car go or anything. You certainly wouldn't take a young lady out for dinner. Yeah, you <laughs> she'd have to hold on. She would. <laughs> Look, I've got to be honest with you guys, this old girl surprised me a fair bit. It's the first time I've driven an old G60, and well, it's not bad, considering it's a 50 year old rig. She's running a bit rough, mate. Yes, mate. <laughs> you might have hit this one with a bit of pace, I think, buddy. I think I will. Get into it. <laughs> get into it, she'll do it. Get into it. Yes. Get it, get it, get it. What's happened? It just stopped. It just stopped. <laughs> it just died. <laughs> Why did it die in oh, a bog hole? Oh, right here. I can't even get out. Oh, what? You're going to have to try and have a quick look in the engine base and crank it over because we can't stop here all day. <laughs> I think it's not that deep. That's, that's annoying. That's annoying. It was doing so well. It just stopped. I can't. I'm, I'm in a bog hole. Look at that. Yeah, so am I. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> is it wet on your side? Yeah, fully. I can't. I'm gonna have to get over the tray. But it seems like we could have run out of luck. She's conked out right in the middle of a bog hole, and things aren't looking good. It wants to go close. Nah, pop the bonnet. Yeah. Might be some water in the dizzy. Yeah, it might just be that. Oh, this is a bit of a game changer. We're going so well. It is a bit of a game changer. I'm gonna get out of here. Not a good spot to park. No, nah, terrible to spot to park, mate. It's a diabolical spot to park. Can you get out? No. Nah. <laughs> Neither can I. They're getting real wet. I'm gonna go out and try. Same. Don't, don't trust the side steps. I'm out. Well, we're here. <laughs> now, now what? Um, I'm gonna work on it from here to the top. I think I can jump over that side here. I might land ah. on you. Oh, there's a rock. There's a rock right there. No, you can stand on that. That's perfect. <laughs> that was ungainly. Yeah. I could have gone either way, that one. Yep, quick, quick. Even a sparky, you'd run it on five cylinders. Maybe. What do you see? Try and, try and, try and kick her over. Kick her over? Yep. This is where it's not going to go, eh? I'm all muddy now. Is that the best you got? That's us. Ready? Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, one more. Just not. She's not cranking. going. Just not cranking. Ah. We're a long way from anywhere too, bro. I know. Mate, you're, you're right? Just give it a hit. Give it a hit now. You good? Yep. Come on! Nah. No. Nah. It's got like no spot. Oh, it's in a horrible spot too. Far out. Oh, and I'm... oh this is not what we expected. Mate. We're right here in the depths of Tasmania. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> Our plan was to go to the southernmost pub in Australia. And at the moment, we don't even have a fridge. So. You don't even have a beer with us. <laughs> We're not looking good, mate. We're in a bit of a strife. In a bit of a pickle. What do you... Yeah, what are you... I... I don't know. I don't know how to get this going. We've tried a few things, we've spun a few spanners, but the old girls is not turning over and we're stuck in a bog hole right now. Of all the places! I know. There's dry ground just there. Could have just been... <laughs> so much better. <laughs> That's the way the cookie crumbles, mate. All right, we're, well, we're stuck here. We're going to figure this out, guys. And the only way to... It's got to be electric. Well... I reckon? I reckon it's spark. Yeah. This is not quite getting enough spark. Yeah, I agree. And um, once we fix that, maybe... We'll, we'll be on the way. girl going again, and hopefully, 
we can get to the most southern pub in Australia. Who knows? That would be unreal. To be able to park this thing up. Yeah. At the pub. Oh, have a sick. old schooner. But we're a long way from that, mate. I suggest yeah. we get these tools out and have a bit of a look at it. Yeah. All right. Let's start getting into it. Yep. Well, folks, I tell you what, this is shaping up to be an even bigger adventure than any of us could have imagined. Oh, be careful! Be careful! Holy heck! That was next level. The mud gets thicker. Whoa! Oh, how the that? The tracks get rougher. Yeah! Woo! A four-wheel drive mission to the southernmost pub in Australia. Then. Tragedy hits. The front is bound up a bit fully because the semi's getting off the road. Dashing all hopes of making it to our destination. Do we make it? Well, you'll have to tune in next Thursday on YouTube.